was going through her morning routine with her 19 month old son, Archie. After changing his diaper, I felt a sharp cramp. I dropped to the floor with him in my arms, humming a lullaby to keep us both calm. The cheerful tune, a stark contrast to my sense that something was not right. I knew as I clutched my firstborn child that I was losing my second. After rushing to the hospital with Prince Harry by her side, Megan kissed her husband's knuckles that were wet from both our tears and wondered how they would heal from their loss. Sitting in a hospital bed, watching my husband's heart break as he tried to hold the shattered pieces of mine, I realized that the only way to begin to heal is to first ask, are you okay? Despite that being a simple question, Megan emphasized the importance of those three words, specifically referencing the moment she was asked that same question during last year's ITV documentary, Harry and Meghan, An African Journey, while trying to keep a brave face in the very public eye. Thank you for asking, because not many people have asked if I'm okay but it's, um, it's a very real thing to be going through behind the scenes. Of course, so many celebrities are speaking out in support of Meghan and even defending her after she was criticized for her decision to publicly share this devastating news. The Good Place star Jamila Jamil wrote on Twitter, when you criticize Meghan for discussing miscarriage because it's too personal for her to share, you're enabling the culture of silence around the issue that keeps so many people in a state of shame, guilt, loneliness, misinformation. People need to know they aren't alone in this. Community actress Yvette Nicole Brown also chimed in, tweeting, sharing this profound grief, as Chrissy Teigen also did, is a blessing to those who have also experienced it. They know that in the midst of, they are not alone. Speaking of Chrissy Teigen, the model clapped back at a Twitter user that questioned Megan's intentions for writing the op-ed. Chrissy, who experienced a heartbreaking pregnancy loss back in September, said this in a now deleted tweet. Award for today's absolute piece of goes to, as well, Prince Harry's uncle, Charles Spencer, spoke out about the Duchess's courageous words while appearing on ITV's Lorraine. I can't imagine the agony for any couple of uh, losing a child in this way and it's so very very sad and of course I totally agree with you uh, all thoughts with them today Now not only did Charles address Meghan's miscarriage But he also told Lorraine why it was important for him to share his thoughts on Princess Diana's now infamous BBC Panorama interview 25 years later. This isn't me saying that Diana should or shouldn't have spoken I'm not that is that was uh, uh, something separate but what I am saying is that in my view, the BBC have very, very serious questions to answer on this. And I was shocked and appalled. And do you know what? Diana has stood up for me a lot as my elder sister when I was a kid. And um, I'm, I'm very happy to do this for her. Charles also reacted to his sister's portrayal on season four of The Crown, saying that he worries that viewers will forget that it's fiction. I think it would help The Crown an enormous amount if at the beginning of each episode, it stated mm. that this isn't true, uh, but it's based around some real events, because then, then everyone would understand that this is drama for drama's sake, and obviously Netflix want to make lots of money. Uh, that's why people are in the business of making these things. Now on to Prince William and Kate Middleton, who shared the sad news that their beloved family dog, Lupo, has passed away. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge took to their Instagram page to share the heartbreaking news. Very sadly, last weekend, our dear dog Lupo passed away. He has been at the heart of our family for the past nine years and we will miss him so much. Kate's brother, James Middleton, also mourned Lupo's death on Instagram, writing, you will always be remembered and your legacy will live on forever. Good boy. And I'm so pleased for all of you guys, I really am. I, I saw it in everyone's faces back in June, how much time and effort was going into this. And it looks like congratulations are in order. After battling COVID-19 earlier this year, the Duke of Cambridge spoke with researchers from the University of Oxford via video chat to congratulate them on collaborating with AstraZeneca to create a global vaccine for the virus. This vaccine should do what we always wanted it to do. We wanted a vaccine for the world, not just for high income countries, not just for this country. We're not safe until we're all safe. It's an amazing achievement, isn't it? It really is. Huge, huge congratulations to you all and your teams. There's also big news for Kate Middleton. The Duchess of Cambridge has officially unveiled the findings of the biggest UK study into early childhood years, marking a milestone moment for her work in this field. This is just the beginning. And I want to thank you for starting a conversation because we're 